Hey you, please excuse the mess in the background. Today is actually going to be a haul video. Now I need you guys to understand that I bought all of these items on different days over like the last couple of weeks. I did not go out and buy all of this stuff at once, so don't think I'm just like made of money because I'm not a girl. I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Any I hope you guys in I can't talk. Now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway, and I suggest you go grab a snack. Pause real quick. Go grab a snack. Come back. Enjoy, girl. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So before I actually show you the individual makeup, I did pick up these two containers from the container store. These are two separate little um, containers here. And they're just clear containers. These were $14.99. If you guys want to see a storage thing, then go ahead and let me know. But these are my newest things. And then I also picked up these um, pencil cup holders from... The container store, these were $2.99 on sale. Like I said, if you guys want to see a, um, like how I organize my things, then go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. So I just showed you the newest containers that I bought from for my makeup, to store my makeup and stuff from the container store. Now I'm going to talk about individual products. And I bought this 80-piece um, Day to Night palette by e.l.f. It looks like this, and I got mine from Target. It's only, I believe, $10. And this is what it looks like. It comes with very um, bright colors and neutral colors, mattes and shimmers and stuff like that. And I bought this because I wanted to do kind of like prom inspired tutorials and stuff like that that I'll be hopefully doing soon if I don't get to it. My bad. But um, either way, I thought this was a really good palette to have for $10. And then at Marshall's, I picked up this NYX Queen of Night box set. Um, and this was $15, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Um, it came with a couple lipsticks, eyeshadows, and, uh, lip products, and eyelashes and stuff. I'll show you guys. So that set came with this NYX eyeshadow tri uh, trio, and this one is called Perpetual, and it comes with these colors. It also came with individual lashes that look like this. And then it came with two lipsticks. This is called Saturn, which I had previously owned, but mine got really ugly. So I had to throw that one out, and I got this new one from that box. And then I also got Uber Chic, which is a very unique color to me. Um, nothing that I would ever buy. It's like this nudish golden color, but I like to have, kind of just add it as an accent to the bottom lip right in the center to make it like appear bigger. And then it came with a whole bunch of lip products. It came with this NYX. Mega Shine Lip Gloss, and this one is in a Juicy Red, it just looks like this. It also came with this Jumbo Lip Pencil in Vixen, which is just a very dark, deep, burgundy kind of red. And then it came with these two lip glosses. I would probably never use this one. This is called, um, what is this called? Actually, I don't think it has a knee. Oh, it does. This one's called Copper Penny, and I honestly don't think I would ever wear this color. It's very, I don't know, I don't know how to describe that color, but I don't like it. This one I would probably wear very often. This is called Garnet, and it's just a deep, deep blood red. I absolutely love this color. Also from Marshalls, I picked up these cosmetic blending sponges because I love my um, Soho sponge. These were about a dollar or two cheaper. However, I've tried this one by Bella Beauty. Did not like it. I don't know. It just it didn't work very well for me. I haven't tried this one. This one is by Earth Ther Therapeutics. Um, I didn't really like this one, but it's the same design. Like, they look the same, so I don't know if I'll like either one of them, really. I found a whole bunch of e.l.f. products in a store called Fiesta. It's a grocery store. Um, but anyway, I found all of these new e.l.f. products. They're new to me. I don't know how new they are. And these are eyelid primers, and this is in golden, and it's literally a golden type of eyeshadow primer. And I don't like the original, but these come in, like, colors, so it looks really cool. And it, it, I haven't tried them on my actual eye, but I swatched them, and they look so nice. This one is called Pearl, and it's just what it sounds like. It really is just, like, a pearl. Um, it sounds, it looks just like what it sounds like. It is a pearl type of looking eyeshadow primer and then this one is called champagne and again it's just like the actual color That's what it looks like and then I found these cream eyeshadow duos by elf butter pecan is um 
is not that pigmented, but this one, Mocha Swirl, is super pigmented, and the colors look really, really nice. Um, it, there's like a taupe color and then like a bronzy color, and this one is called Mocha Swirl, and then Butter Pecan is like this tan color and then like a golden bronze color. Um, they're pretty, but you, these aren't as pigmented. Then I picked up this e.l.f. liquid liner, and this is called Silver, and it's definitely just a silver eyeliner. And then I picked up this um, bronzy, Healthy Glow Bronzer by e.l.f., and this is called Sun Kiss. And I really thought of more than anything that I could use it as a highlighter because I don't know how well it'll work as a bronzer. Um, it's barely showing up on my skin. I don't know if you guys can even see that, but, um, I don't know. I think it'll work more as a highlighter than anything because it is kind of shimmery, so we'll see. More e.l.f. products, and these I actually got from Target. I actually got a new lip stain, and this is called, um, Pink Petal, and it's actually really, really pink, which I really like. Um, and then I got two blushes. This is called Pink Passion, and I don't remember if I've already talked about these. This Problem. This one's Pink Passion, Tickled Pink. This looks like this. And then I picked up this bronzer by um, Ruby Kiss, and I actually got this in a beauty supply, and this is called Bronze Glow, and this is super highly pigmented. I'm actually really scared to add this on my uh, on my face because it is so freaking pigmented. Um, this is scary to work with because I feel like I would look clownish if I add this on my face. Um, I can actually use this more as an eyeshadow. I think I'd be less scared to use it as an eyeshadow. This is so super highly pigmented that I want to try the other colors that they have because um, they have some that look like Soft and Gentle by MAC. So um, I have to try the other ones. But these Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzing Powders are amazingly pigmented. And then I got two um, uh, eyelashes. And these are the Cream Cram Shop. And this is the number 747XS. And they're very natural looking um, eyelashes. And then I got 747M, which is still very natural but longer. CVS is having a sale on their Milani lipsticks. They're about $3.86 with the card, and if you buy some, if you buy one, they give you $2, um, like, store credit kind of thing. And so I picked up a couple colors. I picked up Plum Rose. Looks like this, and that's Plum Rose. It looks okay. Um, it's not, like, my favorite color to wear, but I probably will wear it uh, more during nighttime, springtime. Anyway, and then this is called Naturally Chic. It's natural Chic or Natural Chic. I don't know. Whatever. And this is way more of a nude color. It's right, it's right there. And then I got Sweet Nectar. It looks like this. It's like an orangey kind of color. Oh, that right there. And then I got Fruit Punch, which is just a pink color. It would be this one right here, Fruit Punch. And I really wanted Rose Hip. They actually didn't have it in stock. I went to two different ones, three different ones, and they didn't have it in stock. So I was like, damn it. And then I had this coupon from Victoria's Secret that was like $10 off of a purchase. So this brush was actually $10, and it's this dual-sided brush. And I actually used it um, about two days ago, and this is so rough on the eyes. This brush sucks so bad. Like, it irritated my delicate eye skin, and I, I don't want to use this anymore. Like, it's so sad that it's so super, like, hard. It irritates your eyes. So, that was a waste of um, a coupon. This is what I bought at Ulta, all of these eyeshadows. And... Um, I'm going to start off with these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I got this one in Ant Antwerp, which is a corally nude color. That's Antwerp right here. And this color has been my favorite um, for the last week. I've been wearing this color like crazy. And then I got Addie's 
a baba. So then from Ulta, I also got this Urban Decay Ammo Palette. And ooh, it comes with a whole bunch of the most bought um, eyeshadows by Urban Decay. And I really just wanted it for Sin because I've been wanting Sin forever. But it comes with so many beautiful colors in there that I'm definitely excited to use. And I completely forgot that I was on the NYX thing. But anyway, um, I bought this NYX uh, gel liner. And this is called... What is this one called? Does it have a name? Oh, it's called Cobalt Blue, and it's just a cobalt blue color. I actually even haven't taken it out of the box, and I'm not going to. And then I bought a whole bunch of their NYX single eyeshadows because that's all they really had when I went. They were really sold out of almost everything already. Um, and then I got this blush in Dusty Rose, which looks like a brown-pink color. And then I got Peach which is actually a truer pinky corally color. Looks like that. I got three other glam shadows, which is the shadows that have like glitter in them, like glitter reflex in them. And I got Midnight Express, which is a black with like gold reflex in it. I don't know if the camera's gonna even be able to pick this up, especially because I haven't even opened them yet. This one is called Midnight Express. So then I got a whole bunch of their nude matte shadows, um, which I am absolutely in love with. And then I got this one, it's is called Skinny Dip, which is a purpley brown color. This is called Maybe Later, which is just a brown color. This is called Kiss the Day. It's like a off-white kind of color. This is called Voyeur, which is a blue color. This is another blue color, and this one I actually opened, and this is called In the Buff. Like that. This one is called Blame It on Midnight, which I don't understand the name of this color because it's like a peachy brown color. And then this is called Leather and Lace. It's like a dirty pink color, which I really like. I like as a high. And then I got a whole bunch of their NYX single shadows because... I hear they're very comparable to MAC shadows, so um, I got Asphalt, which actually came in that other kit, in the NYX kit, not, this one actually came in the NYX kit, the Asphalt, and what was the other one that came in that kit? Asphalt and Beauty Queen actually came in that NYX kit, not, I didn't actually buy these individual, I bought them in that kit, um, but anyway, I got Mellow Yellow, just a yellow color, I got... Exotic Green, which is just a green color. It's very pretty. It has, like, sparkles to it. Um, I got Rust, which is just what it sounds like, kind of like a rusty red color. Ugh. I haven't opened all of these, so. I got Frosted Lilac, Sahara. That. Um, I got two Frosted Lilacs, actually. Um, on accident, obviously. And then my favorite color. And this one is called Nude. It's just a nude color. And I actually went to two different, also that's why I got two Frosted Lilacs. It was on accident. And this is Going Green Eyeshadow by Ulta. So that's just a green, like kind of a neon green color. And I believe that is it for my haul. I probably have more things to show you guys, but... I feel like this video is way too long already. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If you guys have any hauls of your own that you filmed or anything like that, please leave it as a video response. Or if you guys have any suggestions on what I should buy next or anything like that, please let me know if any of these items you would like to see a review on or which one of these items you would like to own. I'd love to know what you guys think about these items. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.